Hey everybody, Nate and Micah here with uh, Missouri Woods and Water. Wanted to hop on real quick and give a quick um, rundown of the Alps Outdoors Commander X-Pack. Uh, so if anybody's thinking about going out west this year, this is a good option. Um, and uh, Micah actually started running, is gonna run this pack in the 2021 season. Mm -hmm. And so he bought this this year. And we just thought it'd be cool to kind of go through it real quick and show you some of the features it has. So I'll let you take over. Yeah, so the reason I bought this one, the main reason I bought this one, I was running Alps before I got, before we even became uh, partners with them. But the one I had before, it was called the Traverse X and it had meat hauling capability, but the downfall was you had to run the meat on the outside of your pack. So you had your pack and then all your straps and everything to go. And what that does is that puts a lot of weight further away from you. Yeah. Whenever you're hauling meat, you want to get that meat and the heavy stuff as close to your back as possible. Yeah. It's just so that really, weight's not shifting. Yeah, it's yeah. not shifting. It's a lot easier on your body. And so I got this one, to be honest, it's probably a little overkill for what we do mostly. This, I would consider this a, you know, a going out pack and you can actually carry, I would assume you probably could carry six, seven days worth of stuff in it. Um, for what we do, we mainly, we do a lot of day hunting. We might go out for a night or so, but right. it's got the capability to do it all. So that's why I got it. Uh, another good thing about Alps, they, whenever you buy something from them, they thought of everything as far as you don't have to buy an extra piece to, to get to what you want. Like they have each of the front pouches on theirs. They have the uh, hood and they also have another pack here. If you went and went with a different company, I'm not saying all of them do this, but I know a lot of them do. You have to buy each one of those separate and it just adds up and adds up. And they, I don't know why they do it that way. That's just the way it is. But another great thing. So all, like I mentioned, these things, they all come off. So if I want, I can take that lid off. I can take this extra pouch off. And I can, right now I have my uh, sleeping bag in there. So that's why it's puffed up real good. Uh, but you can compress this down enough to where it's mo a more comfortable day pack. You know, obviously if you're just running a day, you don't have to carry as much stuff as you would over, over if you're staying out overnight. And so I, you know, I'm gonna be taking the, I'll take the bag out and I'll be able to compress this and it'll probably be somewhere, probably around five to six inches away from me. So that's just gonna be more comfortable for myself. Yep. Uh, as far as the meat, meat hauling capability this thing is great for that all you have to do take that those two deals and i'm still new at this so the zipper takes me a little bit but take this zipper out you got a zipper on both sides so you can completely you can completely take that off and that's where you were going to haul your meat so you throw all your meat in there compress all that as tight as you can and then you can throw your bag over top of it and you can haul everything out in one load. More than likely, if you're going after elk, you're gonna have more, and more, more than one load, or you're at least gonna have a buddy there to help you. So that's real nice. Uh, and then you can just attach it back, whatever. Another good thing, whenever I'm walking out and I got meat, I can throw my either my rifle or my bow in yep. the thing. It's got the carrying deal. I attach that. Another great feature, and probably one of my favorite features, and I don't know why it's well, my favorite. And before you get to that, which is really my favorite feature, yeah. is you got all these molly attachments too. Um, yeah. So if you do have, you know, you got your bow on your back, you can also kind of attach it here. Um, you've got side pouches, which is one of my favorite features of a pack. Um, my bugle tube goes in there. Trekking poles, if you're gonna put them in, uh, that's a good spot for them. Yeah, they're also, this one right here, that's for your uh, your spot and scope. Yep. You want to throw a spot and scope it's in there. It's kind of like a nice padded Yeah, you ain't gonna pocket. scratch it up. Right? So, uh, they also have, they can, took the compartment, like you have your main compartment here, they also threw this in where it's a lower one. So I can throw all, if I was gonna stay out overnight, I could throw literally all my food or all my clothing, whatever, and then I can still get into this down here and it gives me an extra compartment. I don't know if you can see that. Or if I wanted to, there's a zipper in there. I can undo that and I can, it can all be one compartment. But probably my favorite feature about Alps and my Traverse X was the same way. It's got an actual rain guard already in the bag, ready to go. So we drive quads every time. And so our packs are always getting dirty and dusty. So every morning I throw this on, 
throw the thing on there and I don't have to worry about my bag yeah, getting all yeah. nasty and stuff like that. Or if it's just a quick rain, it's right there, good to go. Yeah. That's a really cool feature. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those little detail things that you wouldn't think about, you know, but it's we I've really enjoyed my old pack and I know I'm gonna enjoy this one just the same. Yeah. So if you guys considering, you know, going out west this year and you plan on owning some meat or staying out overnight. If you don't like this one, go check out their website. They have plenty of other packs I guarantee you would work for that. In the end, folks, um, you know, this is the Commander X. Uh, this one runs somewhere around 400 bucks for mm -hmm. the, the frame and the pack. Yeah. Um, you can buy them separately. Micah didn't. Yeah. Um, there's other packs Alps has, alpsbrands.com, that has meat hauling capabilities as well. Um, but if you don't even get an Alps pack, which, you know, we're partners with them. We'd love for you to support them. Sure. They're a Missouri-based company, and we think that's awesome. Um, you need to get, if you're going to go out west hunting elk, mule deer, whitetail, and you're going to be backpacking overnight or even in the backcountry, uh, you need to get a pack that's capable of hauling meat. Yeah. Um, if you're, Especially if you're out alone and you are just in a backpack uh, and you kill something, if you got your work cut out, and yeah. that's not going to help that you don't have a pack that you can get stuff yeah, down. You're, you're going to ruin your life if you don't have <laughs> something that is meat hauling capable. So, you know, something to think about. But we just want to get it on here and give you guys a quick rundown of why I got it personally. And, you know, hopefully it might help somebody out. Check okay. it out. The Alps Commander X. Yep. Commander Alps X. Brands .com.